Hello everybody. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Let's take a walk and go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. This show ought to be a big treat. Uh, this is Coronado Brewing. Uh, this is their barrel aged stupid stout. Probably make you stupid after you drink it. Of course in my case I'm already stupid before I get started. So uh, With this beer, I think I've done the regular version of this. This is the barrel aged version of this. And uh, I got this from Donovan and the guys out there at uh, it could uh, serve all liquors if you're in San Diego. They got a big craft beer store out there. Over 2,000 uh, craft beers in stock. Uh, and on the web, uh, it is craftcity.com. And they do ship beers, guys. If your state allows uh, them to ship beers to you, you can go on their website and, and order some stuff, and they'll box it up very nicely uh, and uh, ship it out to you. So. Uh, let's get on with this one, and I will put the website uh, and that information in the in the description. Uh, uh, the more info information there for you can uh, you can look it up. So uh, this is a bourbon barrel aged imperial stout. This one comes in at nine percent according to what's on the bottle. It says nine percent alcohol by volume, and on the other side here, it's got the silk screen. Uh, ink on here. It's not a label or anything. And it says a 2015 release of this particular beer. So that is definitely this year's. But this beer is going to keep for a long time guys. 9% this beer will keep 5-10 years or if not longer if selling correctly. So uh, it's not something that you, you have to drink immediately. 9% uh, Imperial Stout Bourbon Barrel Aged on top of that. Uh, it's going to keep for a while. So you can uh, uh, if you so choose, you can buy several of these and drink one now and drink one five years down the road, drink an, another one ten years down the road, or, or, or uh, buy one now and, and buy another one five years from now and do a vertical side by side and see how it changes and, and how, how the older one is different from the newer one. Uh, just like I did on the uh, vertical uh, double uh, DBA uh, the other day, and I've got two Firestone Walkers uh, Velvet uh, Merkins in there, and I'm gonna do the same thing for them before too long, guys. We'll do a vertical of them. I think I've got a 2013 and a 2014 edition of those, and we'll do a vertical of those side by side and see what the difference is. There was a big difference in the uh, double DBA from Firestone from 2013 and 2014, so we'll see what the uh, the Velvet Merkin brings, and I can't get the Merkin here. I don't know why they don't send that beer here to Virginia. So both of those beers were sent to me by by wonderful subscribers, and I will shout them out when I do the reviews. So let's get on with this one. Uh, I don't have the IBUs listed here for this, and it is not listed on the label, which is not critical. And all they have is 2015 release, so I don't know when in 2015 this was done, whether it was done. Uh, in January or June or, or October, uh, I think it was. I think it's a little older than that because I haven't got anything from Donovan in, in a couple of months. So, uh, uh, not sure exactly when it was put in the bottle. So, but it is a 2015. It is this year's edition. So, uh, commercial description on, on this says the Coronado Collection is a limited release of our barrel aged liquid treasures. And then it says 2013 releases their number one. Uh, so this is a 2015, so this must be release number three. Uh, don't think there's anything else we need to talk about there, so go over to the food pairings. And the food pairings for the Imperial or the Double Stout, 
says it's the cheese is a buttery breed good at Havarti Swiss. And since it is a stout, it goes well through chocolate dishes. And the meat is beef, smoked meat, game, and grilled meat. Glass for a pint, becker, not a tumbler, snifter, oversized wine glass. You know what glass I'm using today, my favorite, the solid beer glass. And it can be solid for long periods, just like I told you a little earlier. So that is all we need to talk about. It is time to start pouring and sipping. Nice little hiss off of that. And this has got the little fancy bottle, almost looks like a miniature corked and cage bottle. It's got the big heavy lip on the side of it, but this is not a great big bottle. 12.7 fluid ounces. So, And it's filled all the way up to right there, about an inch of head space in there. Perfect. Just the way it should be. And let's see what we get as far as the head. We'll go down the center on this one, guys. It's only 9%, but I don't think it's going to generate a massive head. I might be mistaken here. We've got about a finger already. Finger and a half. Looks like about a finger and a half of the head. Down the center pour on that. Set that up there where y'all can see it. Yeah, about a finger and a half on that one. Nice off uh, white khaki colored tan head on that. Over to the light. There is none. It is pitch black, guys. Even through the thin part of the glass on the bottom, I cannot see any light through it. So it is black as night, and like I like to say, uh, motor oil, use motor oil color. And I like to reference my Harley. It's like 60 weight coming out of the old Harley. Very good looking, very classic Imperial Stout color. Very nice, very nice. Down to about a finger of head, let's get a nose on it. Ow. Now, the bourbon is not off the chain like a lot of them are, but I am getting it on the nose. A lot of rich caramel, toffee, dark fruit, chocolate. Maybe some hints of coffee in there. Prime candidate to fire up a Maduro cigar to go with this. Wow. Now as this now as this breathing more and more, I am getting more of the bourbon. It's definitely there. Very wonderful nose. Very, very nice. Great looking beer in the glass. It's that time. Let's get it on. Cheers. Cheers, Donovan, and the guys out there at Craft City and Servile Liquors. Wow. That is very, very nice. The bourbon, the chocolate, the chocolate is there. I'm getting heavy chocolate. The bourbon is not off the chain, but it is definitely present. Wow, very well made. Dark fruits, plums, dates, raisins, figs, coffee, chocolate, bourbon. Wow, I cannot get the Cardano uh, beers here. I wish I could. I do wish I could. They make some really tasty stuff. But, as long as your state allows you to get beers uh, shipped in, you can get right on the website, craftcity.com, and order you up some of this stuff. Very, very nice. Very, very pleasant. I like this. I like the taste. I like how mellow, or how everything is combined and coming together. Nothing is uh, overpowering anything else very well. Prime candidate to seller. Uh, this would be a great beer to put in the fridge or or, or, or to seller at, a, at the right temperature. Three, five, maybe even ten years. Or even longer if you so choose. I don't think there's any, being a nine percent, I don't think there's anything that's going to fade or, or, or you're going to lose. This is going to get better over time. Wow. I wish I kind of got two of these from uh, from Donovan when I, and uh, or even three. 
did one, do one fresh like I'm doing now, and, and then maybe three or five years down the road do a vertical. Uh, but you would need two different batches to do that. So uh, maybe uh, maybe I'll get another one from him and uh, put it away and uh, three or five years down the road I'll get another one and uh, we'll see how much a fresh one compared to one that's been selling for three or five years do with the side by side tasting. Uh, wow, very nice. Alright guys, we take it back and let her have a sip of two or three and then I'm going to go outside and freeze my buns off and fire up a Maduro wrapped cigar to go with this nice dark rich beer, bourbon barrel aged beer, and uh, sip on it for a while, see what uh, see what we end up with on this one. Uh, so far, I am definitely impressed. Very nice beer. Alright guys, I'm back. I've got just a little up here, I've been sipping on it about 35, 45 minutes or so. Been outside on the deck, about to freeze my ass off. God, I hate this cold weather. You give me a fire pit or something to put out there, set around. Uh, very nice beer, guys. Very, very nice beer. The bourbon is there. The chocolate is there. The dark fruits are there. A little bit of coffee. Wow. Very, very nice. The bourbon barrel aged version of this is exceptionally well. Like I said, I think I'm, I'm pretty sure I did the regular version of this. This is a bourbon, bourbon barrel aged version of this. Very nice. Uh, can't think of a single thing that I would say to make this beer better. I would like to see a little more information on the label when it was put in the bottle, whether it was January of 2015, June of 2015, September of 2015. Uh, well, you may be able to go to the website and see that, but you're not going to have that information when you see it on the shelf, unless you got a smartphone and you start looking all that shit up. I would like to see them put this is, this was done in January of 2015, February 2015, June of 2015, when it was put in the bottle. So, just my little OCD there, guys. So, very nice beer. Exceptionally beer. Went very well with the cigar that I was puffing on outside while I was freezing my gonads off. Can't wait to get to Florida where it's not this cold. Wow. Cheers, everybody. Final choke. Very, very nice. Very, very well made beer. All the flavors are, are there. Very well combined for a 2015 edition. It's just going to get better if you sell on this beer, guys. It really is... Uh, I can just imagine what this beer is going to be like in five years. Be very, very tasty. Be very, very smooth. Get you in trouble. This is a beer. This is a sipper. This is something you want to drink at home, uh, or have a designated driver if you're drinking out in a pub or a bar somewhere. And, and all you guys out there in California that's enjoying this wonderfully warm weather, while the rest of the nation is freezing their ass off, I wouldn't mind moving to California. If it wasn't for the earthquakes and the fires and the landslides and the drought and all that. So, uh, California is a very nice place. Been there, very lovely, enjoyed it. Uh, but a lot of things going on there. So, I think I'll just head to Florida. Yeah. Alright guys, very nice beer. Uh, it's a 9 out of 10 for me. Uh, and if you say, oh man, you're crazy. It's a 10 beer. I would not argue with that. Uh, it is so close to being a 10 beer, it's kicking on the door. If I was paying a numeric rating on this, guys, it would be a 98 or a 99. Very, very nice. Very, 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 did I say very nice? Very nice. Uh, over to uh, Beer Advocate. Uh, beer Advocate says it's 87. Very good. I kind of disagree with that. It's a lot better than that. Uh, I would add 10 points to that. Yeah, if it was me, uh, like I said, 97, 98, maybe even a 99. And like I said, it, it wouldn't it wouldn't be very hard for me to say, oh, it's a 10 beer, guys. I would not argue with that. It's uh, and, and with a little age on this beer, three, four, maybe even five years, 
it probably is a 10 beer. Uh, but not having a little more information on the bottle, when it was put in the bottle, even though it says 2015 right on the label, and I know it's this year's edition, it's, uh, it's just lacking just a little. I would like to see a little more stronger bourbon in it, uh, but a lot of people don't like that heavy bourbon taste. I do. I do. But everything is very well made. So like I said, 98 or 99 for me, guys. It's uh, very tasty. Over to Rate Beer. Rate Beer says overall 99. That's about where I'm, that's what I'm talking about. And 90 in the style. So 90s, 90s from me and 90s from uh, uh, Rate Beer. 87 from the guys at Beer Advocate. I think that number is considerably low considering what I've got in my hands here right now. 90, 98, 99 even, and like I said, if you say it's a 100, would not argue with that. It is pretty damn tasty. It is pretty tasty. So if you've had this one from a Coronado Brewing Company out of California, let me know what you think. I enjoyed the hell out of this, and I would buy it again. It is very, very tasty. And if you can't get it in your area, give the guys out there at uh, CraftCity.com a, a shout and look at their website and, and order it for yourself. It's pretty damn tasty. Like I said, I would buy it again. All right, come on back tomorrow. Let's go see what's in the fridge. See you then.